Okay, so welcome to part two of this cute little animation tutorial. If you haven't already seen part one where we do the modeling, you can check the description below or go check out my channel. So in this part here, we're gonna be doing the animation and we're doing all of this within Blender 2.9. So I hope you guys are able to follow along. And once again, like I said in part one, this blend file is available on my Patreon, which you can also find in the description below. So let's get into the animation. Okay, so to get started with our animation, what we're gonna be doing is coming over here to our timeline. And you can see currently the end frame value here is set to 250. So let's change this to 170. So click on it and then make it 170 frames and click enter. You can also come over here, just drag this bar up to give you a little bit more space. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to frame one. And on frame one, we're gonna select this door over here. And obviously under your object data properties, under the shape keys, with the key one selected, we're just gonna drag this value down to zero. And let's just drag for our frames here. And we're gonna come to our first key frame, which is gonna be on frame 10 for this door. And then with this key one selected with a value of zero, we're gonna click on this little dot here and that's gonna insert a key frame. So you can see this yellow dot appearing. And we're then gonna come over to frame 40. And in frame 40, we're gonna come over here and drag this value up to one and then click on this guy next to here. That's gonna add in a keyframe. So you can now see we have another keyframe on frame 40. Now we want this to be the opening space. So between 10 and 40, this value slider is going from zero to one. So one is full influence of that shape key, which is gonna make it look like the door is opening. And then we want the door to remain open to frame 130. So drag your slider up to 130, then click on the little keyframe here. And now between 130 and 150, we want it to close. So on 150, drag your slider there. We're gonna bring this value slider back down to zero. And once again, we're gonna click on the keyframe. Now we have our keyframes completely set up for this door. In fact, if you go to frame one and you hit the space bar, you can actually see what the animation is gonna look like. So you can see the door opening and then closing. And once again, you can see it opening and closing. This is happening over 170 frames at 24 frames a second. So let's just stop that and let's animate the little character. So that's a little bit more tricky, but not too hard. So with the character, we first need to place it. So let's grab the rig over here and we're gonna grab the armature or the rig and just hit G and just move it over into the middle of our ship here. And the bottom of the rig should roughly be sitting on the bottom of the floor of our little rocket here. So just like that. In fact, I might even bring him down just a little bit in here. It doesn't really matter. Um, and I might also scale it down just a bit. So he's kind of a bit smaller. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our top orthographic view by hitting seven on our number pad. And let's just quickly hide the rocket layer like we created earlier in part one. So we're not seeing any of the rocket. And then we're gonna hit Z and go into wireframe. And currently this little dude is not facing the way we want. So with this rig selected, we're gonna go R and rotate him like this, roughly 90 degrees. So he's looking this way. So you can see his little eyes are looking this way to our left of our screen here, okay? Now once we've done that, we can bring the rocket layer back. So you can now see he's kind of looking that way into the ship. So he's standing here and he's gazing this direction. So now what we can do is just leave him kind of a little bit more towards the back of the ship. So we can go G, Y, and just move him back. So he's kind of just a little bit more tucked in there. So you don't want him to be right close to the front of the door. So at the back there, what we can do now is with this armature selected, we can go into our pose mode. And in pose mode here, this is where we can animate these individual bones. So what we wanna do first of all, is we wanna come over to frame 30. So you're gonna see here that between 10 and 40 doors gonna be opening up. So at frame 30, we want this guy to start kind of moving for the door. So on frame 30, we're gonna hit A, in, uh, and let's go into a wireframe as well. So in pose mode, we're gonna hit A, and all of these bones are now blue, which means they're active in pose mode. And we're gonna hit I, and we're gonna come down here and insert a location and rotation um, keyframe. So you can see on frame 30, we now have a keyframe for that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to frame 60 and by frame 60, the door should be already fully open. So you can see here. And in frame 60, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this bottom bone here 
And we're going to go into our right orthographic view by hitting free on our number pad. And we're going to hit Z to go into wireframe. And in our right orthographic view here, we're going to rotate this guy a little bit like this. And then rotate, grab this guy and rotate him a little bit and then so forth. We're going to keep rotating a little bit and then the neck just a little bit and then the head just a tiny bit. So just kind of making him bend out like this. In fact, we can also select the bottom bone here and just move it in a little bit like that. Then hit A to select everything and then hit I and insert a location and rotation keyframe. So this is what it's going to look like, like that. So if we look at it from this perspective, if we go outside the ship and we hit the spacebar to play it, this is what we're going to see. We're going to see his head poking out and that's really good. So what we want to do is we want him to look outside of the ship up until frame 120. So come to frame 120 and then once again with all of these still selected in that pose, we're going to go I, insert a location and a rotation keyframe. And then we want to, we don't want him to just stand dead still. So what we want to do is come to about frame 90 in the middle here. And then we're just going to kind of offset him just a little bit like this, just so he's kind of moving a tiny little bit. And then we're going to hit A to select all of this, these bones and hit I, insert another location and rotation key. And you can see here it is. And we can also come here to about 70 and just do tiny little movements. And once again, just selecting all the bones and inserting a lo location and rotation key. And you can do the same thing for some of these other bones. Just little random, tiny little random movements. Um, we'll just make it a little bit more realistic. And I'm just inserting a location and rotation keyframe for those bones. So let's have a look at that. So this is what we're going to see. There he is, kind of having a little bit of a look. And then what we want to do, obviously we don't want it to be decapitated. So let's grab um, all of these bones here. And we want to come now over to frame 150. And on frame 150, we want to go back to where we were originally when we first started. So what we can do, a simple way is just to come here with all of these bones selected, to come to frame 30, hover over here, select this keyframe, so it's now yellow but all the other ones are white so click here and drag over it then go shift d to duplicate it and just drag it all the way to that 150 marker over there so now those um, guys will go back now you can see over here we're getting a little bit of intersection with the helmet which we don't want so let's just grab this um, 150 keyframe here with all of the bones selected and just move it in a little bit closer so that happens a little bit faster so let's have a look at that okay that's a little bit better so this guy's coming in just in time before that thing closes so with that done now we can go into our object mode again and let's just play this animation so go to frame one and hit the spacebar and let's see what it looks like so he kind of pops his head out and he pops it back in and the door closes and the whole thing is going to be loopable so um, yeah, that is our animation done. It wasn't that complicated. I hope um, it didn't confuse anybody too much. So that is what this part two of this tutorial was. Obviously, if you haven't seen part one, go ahead and check it out on my channel. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hop over into part three of this little animation series. And that's where we're gonna do all of our awesome lightings and materials and adding in the little landscape here and um, like a little Martian kind of landscape. And we might even refine the animation a little bit if we have to. So that's gonna be part three.